And welcome back to Gentleman's Hall on FYNation.com. And uh, before we went to break, I mentioned that I'm going to take a little time to talk about a race in the United States of America. It's something that's very important to me. Um, actually, when we get down to it, it's something that's not at all important to me because I, I don't even like the term race because of where it came from. And Prince Ia, he recently released a video, which I'll have on YouTube. I will put the link to the video in the in the, in the, in the information below. He re-released a video that was basically went to what race is and how kind of meaningless it, meaningless it really is and how you don't decide that. Decide what your race is. It's you're, you're born that way and you live your life and, as he called, that vessel. And to me, who you are as a human being, your character is the only thing that's important. Unfortunately, lots of Americans and lots of people around the world don't feel that way and want to cast judgment on an individual by the shade of their skin makes absolutely no sense to me coming from a what I like to call it instead of multiracial, multi-ethnic family because race was a term created in the 14, 1500s to just divide us from one another to keep the, the lower class from <laughs> teaming up and taking on the upper class. How well that has worked. <laughs> and yeah, growing up you get all kinds of questions like what is what really are you? And you always just want to say, well, human. We're all human. That's actually what our race is. If you want to get to the science of it, we're all human beings. That is our race. Everything else is just our ethnicity and our color. It means nothing in the long run. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and I just I, I personally wish we could get to a point where we didn't care about it. Um I definitely I I, I definitely don't subscribe to the belief that oh just stop talking about racism and then it'll go away. That's really bad philosophical argument. That's actually really horrible. Like if when someone says that like that's silly. I was like saying, let's stop talking about poverty. If we stop talking about poverty, it will disappear. No, they'll still be there. <laughs> you can not talk about it all you want. It doesn't mean it changes someone's opinion. Or it doesn't educate them or anything like that. And of course, we live in a society right now where police brutality is out of control. You can't go a day or so without seeing someone getting shot. I mean, it's not even only a only a minority issue. Like that everyone's getting shot. Just minorities are getting shot at a higher rate. It's just... And yeah, people are still judged based off of their color. It's sad. It's not 1960 anymore. And that's where I, I I get problems with on both sides of the aisle. The conservatives, the far right, when you get to the race issues there, there's, there's out and out bigots that are just racist and will give you whatever reason they can give you to be racist. It's, it, it's just, that's just to me ignorance. But on the far left, there's this phenomenon of racism to low expectations where an individual will hold a minority for, to a lower standard of morality or a moral uh, a lesser standard of intelligence because they are that specific race which is horrible and I actually will say this I call them salon liberals because on salon you, you see conversations like this all the time and it bothers me because it's kind of insulting what, of that. I've seen arguments there where you can't critique someone because they are indeed black. Because basically, the, I mean, basically some of the arguments is that because it doesn't matter if your critique is from a 
uh, willingness to help or not, but you can't say anything and your f factual information doesn't matter uh, because you are not black, therefore it's invalid. That's wrong. And that's where I see a problem. It's not what Martin Luther King Jr. preached about. That's not what he, that's not what the civil rights movement was about. That's not, and I, I can't stand those kind of arguments because they, they, they're so empty and to me, insulting. They're just insulting. They're condescending. And when you see stuff like that, or, uh, recently I saw a talk about my, the minorities, if they, aren't able to um use standard English that that saying that it's it's racist um no I mean that they were conflating two different issues together I mean I don't care what slang someone uses who cares like I'm not gonna make a moral judgment over someone if they're intelligent or not and if they use slang it doesn't matter but in a in an educational setting you need to be able to use standard English because it's standard. Everywhere you go in a regional setting will have their own language and have their own slang, have their own dialect. I mean, a dialect, but we all need to have a... Yeah, y'all. I actually said y'all. That's a southern thing. Ooh, I hate that. <laughs> I see it right there. But, but we all need to be able to communi communicate in standard English. That's one thing. So, and, and just issues like that, I, I just think we need to get over. And hold everyone to an equal footing because we can take it into considerations where some oh, someone's upbringing the household they were in sans race we, that doesn't mean anything their ethnicity doesn't ethnicity is not going to change that I mean there can be um, a white individual that that had terrible parents that went to a terrible school and also is going to have issues with their education just the same way as a black person or a Hispanic person or anything like that. I mean, that that's just going to happen. Uh, that's not based off an ethnicity. You're not, it's not a something you're born with. And the cases I'm speaking about, of course, we, we have disabilities and learning disabilities that do affect people, and I'm not speaking of those. But uh, moving over to the right with those kind of issues, I... I <laughs> It the conservatives on the far right that are just bigoted in their reasoning is just a lot of it's hypocritical. Uh, to me, a lot of it comes from trying to make up for their lack of achieving anything of worth. And it's kind of sad when you really think about it because they're trying to build themselves up to hate this different race or <laughs> this the reasoning doesn't even make sense because they really don't have logic to it you can't stereotype every single person of any background the same way because it's never going to be true not one group of people is always going to be the same way it's, it makes no sense at all to me <laughs> 